on this. And a certain sound is the truth rather than a fable. Amen. Exactly. Jesus said, you shall know the truth. Yes. And the truth shall set you free. <clears throat> Someone said, I think I'll go to church this morning and I think I'll listen to the message. If it's the wrong trumpeter playing the trumpet, you'll leave just as barren as you went. You'll leave without fruit in your basket. Because it's making an uncertain sound. You have to know the sound of the Word of God. There's two things the church needs to know. They need to know when it's the Word of God being properly interpreted Amen. with the right sound, yes. and they need to know the sound of the Spirit. Yes. Amen. Because you can listen to a melody all morning long, and it be the wrong trumpeter, That's it. and he isn't playing a certain sound. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Someone said, just make a church of your choice and go there, and you'll be able to hear the word. I, I differ. This is the word, and this is the book. But someone needs to know how to play the right sound. And you can't play this just buying it, picking it up, opening it up, and say, I'm going to preach from it. You've got to get a connection. I said, you've got to get a connection. Praise the name of the Lord. You've got to be connected to God through Christ and the Holy Ghost. I'm going to go a step further. You can't have this in your house. You can't read it. And it do what God wants it to, to do in your life unless it has a distinct sound. That's revelation from God through the Holy Ghost. If you're reading it, the same anointing that is in here has to be in you. The same anointing that's in the Word has to be in you. And then you have to be able, if you're hearing it, for the same anointing that God is using with the right trumpet player, the man of God, ordained of God, you have to be anointed yourself with anointed ears and clear your heart and get all resentment out, all rejection out, yeah. all feelings out, yeah. all feelings I can't be taught, I'm not going to learn, it doesn't matter, I've never heard that before, so I don't agree with it. Uh, you have to move all that stuff yes. for God to get the Word of God through to you yeah. and for you to hear a certain sound. How important is it right now for me to hear the right sound? Yes, man. The right sound. Yes. It's this important. Yes. If I don't hear the right sound, I'll not prepare myself for battle. Right, right, right. I'll be sitting unclothed. Yes. I'll be sitting without the armor of God. Right. I'll be sitting without the revelation of God. Right. I'll be noisily doing something. I'll be doing other things. Yes. My mind will be carried away. My spirit can't connect. I'll be sitting in limbo even if I'm around on the trumpet. That's it. I'll not be getting ready for battle. But brother, if you know the sounds of the trumpet yes. that's preparing you for battle, you know right now the trumpet is saying, get ready. Yes. Because these are the last days. Yes. And this is the end time. Amen. And God does not waste one moment of his relationship with man. The reason that he came here today is because he wants someone to hear the sound. Yes. Yes. The right sound yes. of the Holy Ghost. To hear the right sound of the Word of God. Yes. So he brought us together and he turned the Spirit of the Lord loose here a few minutes ago. And here come the presence of Jesus. Amen. All over this house. Yes. All over this place. Yes. Hallelujah. I want to praise him right now. Give glory and praise our God. You didn't bring it, and I didn't bring it, and they didn't bring it, and we didn't bring it. But thank God it came Amen. through the Holy Ghost. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank God it came. Thank God I heard the sound of it. It was the right sound. It was the right sound. It was doing something for me. 
Thank God it rejuvenated me. Amen. Made those 3,500 miles go away. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Made me look up and say, thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I want to say it again. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Amen. Because I recognize the sound. It's not the sound of Babylon. No. Not the sound of a charismatic group. Not the sound of a cosmetic group. It's the sound of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And I was seen. And my Holy Ghost connected with the Holy Ghost falling here. Yes. If the trumpet make an uncertain sound. Now in the book of Numbers, and this is my other part, I won't go any further than this today, but in the book of Numbers, over in the Old Testament, is, is the rest of the story concerning the trumpet. And I'll get, I'll get in out of this uh, as quickly as I can because I want to get as much as I can, as much as God would let me. But in the 10th chapter of Numbers, look at this and read it with me. Take it in and put it in connection with what I've said. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Make thee two trumpets. Why two? <clears throat> Why did he say to Moses, make two? Right. Make two trumpets of silver. Of a whole piece. Yes. One body. Hallelujah. One spirit. Yes. Yes. One Lord. One, Lord. Yes. One faith. Yes. Whole piece. The trumpet of the word of God is not a disjointed, fragmented truth. No, sir. It is the whole truth. The whole truth. <laughs> the whole part of the gospel is not sectionized to please you, to please you, to be political, no, sir. to touch your flesh, no, sir. to make you feel good, no, sir. to curry your favor. The whole gospel is meant to redeem you Amen. from the government to the uttermost. Amen. To bring you out of the filth of the flesh, yes. the mind, yes. the body, and to give you salvation yes. that will make you whole. Thank will literally change the way you live your day. Yes. Thank you, Lord. And if, you, if the way you live is the same way you lived before you became a Christian, you have not become a Christian. Amen. 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 Did you get that? Yep. If you haven't changed the patterns, the makeup, the directions, the things you do, the things you think, where you go, how you act, your relationship, the world you live in, the habits you have, what you do with your mind, you haven't heard the trumpet. That's right. The trumpet never reached you. You're hearing an uncertain sound. You don't know if it's a tenor sax or an E flat alto playing because the sound isn't reaching because the connection is not there. Yes, sir. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. I want you to get this thought, brethren, around me. Yes. We can occupy these chairs and the rest of our days, we can go through however long the Lord we, we can have band chairs, choir chairs, we can have a, a, a platform, we can sit here and go through an endless routine of uh, week after week after week after week, and you can make up your mind that smorgasbord it, you know, take the peas, leave the cauliflower, People do that in the church. Yes. They take what they want and they leave the rest they don't want. Yep. And you and I will grow old and we'll die if Jesus tarries, or either we'll go out and leave and we'll be the same, same, same. Yep. But if you hear the sound, yes. that is a certain sound, Hallelujah. you know that you're listening to God yes. speak to your heart. Yes. And the Holy God of Israel, yes. Jehovah Jireh, yes is making connection. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Because I believe it's time for us to call the assembly of the righteous, call those that can hear, he that has an ear to hear, let him hear what the gospel is saying, and look, make two trumpets of silver, of a whole piece shall thou make them, that thou mayest use them, now listen, Mr. Garfield, 
What is a trumpet for? What is the word of God for? You know the trumpet. I wish somebody blow the trumpet for me right now. Hunter, blow the trumpet. No, I mean sound out on it. Sound out on it. That's a piercing sound, isn't it? Piercing yes. sound. A trumpet is a piercing instrument. It's to pierce our ear. The word of God is to wake us up. The word of God is to arouse us. There were two silver trumpets. Silver is redemption. There was a redemption of the law. The law could not make you perfect. That was one trumpet that was used for 1,500 years until Christ came and the law trumpet was replaced with the grace trumpet. Hallelujah. Amen. There needs to be two. Yes. And you cannot leave the law trumpet, and forsake the law, even though it did not make them perfect, and then just take up grace. I sinned, but grace will be all right. I did wrong, but grace is okay. I missed it, but grace will take care of it. No, no, you better pick the other trumpet up. Because it takes two. There's two silver trumpets. There's two. Come on. Praise God. Are you getting what I'm saying? You can't leave one out and take the other. You can't say, I want one. And I reject the other. Right. It takes the whole of the two silver trumpets. Yes, sir. Yes. When Christ came, his was the trumpet of grace. Yes. Joining itself to the trumpet of the law. These two trumpets now are still in the church. They're for the church. They're for the ministry of today. Yes. They're for the edifying of the saints, for the uh, perfecting of the saints, for the edifying of the body, and then the work of the ministry. And here, he said, that thou mayest use them for the calling of the assembly. I'm blowing my trumpet, the trumpet that is that God has given me to blow of the grace and the law together, law fulfilled in grace. I'm blowing it real firm, and I'm calling for an assembly. Hallelujah. Amen. If you don't hear the trumpet, you won't assemble. Right. Simple as that. Amen. If you don't hear what this trumpet is saying, you'll stay in your tent. Yes. You'll not come, because Israel came when the trumpet blew. Amen. Praise our God. Amen. Amen. God has a trumpet to wake us up. Yeah. Yes, God has a way to pierce <laughs> our thinking and to call us together and forsake not the assembly of ourselves together. Come on. And so much the more as we see the day approaching. Then not only the assembly being called together, but for the journeyings of the camps. Look at that. Not only does the trumpet blow to call you together, but it's going to change its, uh, uh, its beat now. It's going to change its sound. And this sound is saying, go on. Don't stop. Don't give in. Don't give up. You're weary, but be not weary in well-doing. For in due season, you'll reap if you think not. Have you noticed the trumpet change? Have you, one time it's saying, come together. Come together. And then the trumpet begins to blow. And the word of God begins to come forth. And it's not saying just come together. It's saying let's get ready to go. Yes. It's calling us for our journey. You have to know the sound of the trumpet. You have to listen and see what the trumpet is saying. Someone said, is it blowing come together? No, it's blowing let's go. But do you know how to read? Do you know how to listen, to get the sound of the trumpet, what it saved, the word of God? Because it was used, those two silver trumpets. They were no longer the weakness 
of the wineskins dried out. It was no longer uh, the ram's horn. That's it. Why didn't God use the ram's horn? Because the ram's horn can't pierce like the trumpet. Hallelujah. And the ram's horn is not metal. And the ram's horn is not silver. That's it. I want you to know I've been redeemed. I've got a redeeming gospel here. This is a redemption. Praise the name of the Lord. When I hear this, it's silver. It's redemption. And if it's the old of the old silver of the Old Testament, it still redeems. If it's the new grace of the new covenant of the silver of the trumpet, it still redeems. Hallelujah. Praise the name Amen. of the Lord. And sometimes it's saying to me, assemble, assemble. I hear it. I hear it. Because God lets me hear it. Yes. Aren't you glad God lets you hear something? Yes. Aren't you glad your ears hear the truth? Yes. Aren't you glad that God talks to you? Amen. I mean, he's glad the Lord speaks to you, still deals with you, still gets to your heart. Yes. Praise the name yes. of the Lord. How many are glad when you can say the Lord woke me up? and refreshed me Hallelujah. and got out of my doldrums and got out of my spiritual attitude that was low. How many really appreciate it when the Spirit of God touches your mind and touches your heart? Praise the Lord. Come on, praise our God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm glad I know there's two silver trumpets that's blowing in the camp of Israel. Amen. Praise God. Praise now let me go just a little bit further. And when, verse 3 said, they shall blow with them, all the assembly shall assemble themselves to thee at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And if they blow but with one trumpet, then the princes, which are heads of the thousands of Israel, shall gather themselves unto thee. When you blow an alarm, then the caps that lie on its east parts shall go forward. When you blow an alarm the second time, then the caps that lie on the south side shall take their journey. They shall blow an alarm for their journeys. But when the congregation is to be gathered together, you shall blow, but you shall not sound an alarm. Hallelujah. I thank God I heard the first blowing yes. of the trumpet and I'm here today, assembled, assembled yes. with the rest of the body yes, in the city. Yes. Praise the name yes. of the Lord. But I'm listening carefully because I heard the sound of the trumpet change. And it said something about revival. Yes. All right. right. Time for me to journey. Yes. yes. Time for me to come on. Get out of my tent. Praise God. The other day when that phone rang from North Florida and Billy Hendricks, Cajun preacher up there in the woods of North Florida, he said, Brother Marlowe, I don't know you. I've never met you. But someone said, call Brother Marlowe Amen. to come help me. Amen. Amen. I heard the sound. Yes. You will not do anything. Should you hear a sound? That's right. That's it, brother. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. Right. Yes. If your ears are stuffed full of the enemy's wax, yes. you won't hear the sound. Yes. That's right. If you let yourself get in a condition where you matter more than God does, you'll not hear the sound. If you're in a place where you and your house matters more than God and his house does, you'll not hear the sound. But if you can hear the sound of the trumpet as the children of the Most High, and I can, we'll know what it means. Is it time to come together? Is it time to congregate? Is it time to prepare for battle? The enemy's right out there. He's coming in on us. You have to be, did you know you can be in a church and not know that church is falling apart? Or that church is getting weak spiritually, and you'll care less while the enemy is taking the church apart. While the enemy is taking that church apart, you'll care less because you can't hear the sound. You don't know what's happening. You, you can't be a burden bearer because you don't know how to bear the burden. 
You, you can't pray because you didn't hear the sound of prayer. 